moving on to the last way that I am able to curl my hair and that is with the curl secret and for those of you who don't know this device actually takes your hair sucks it up essentially and then curls it and then is able to like spit it back out so if you like here there's like a little motor that is able to turn and it like grabs your hair now this is definitely the most time consuming method but if you want those like ringlet curls this is the easiest way that i figured out how to do it and what i'm going to do is i don't like to layer my hair with this because you have to actually place the hair inside it's not like the straightener or the curling wand where i could just grab it you have to place the hair inside of this so i want to make sure that it's very exact and this thing is pretty scary because if you put too much hair in it it like um will grab under your hair and not give it back so we don't want that to happen today so you have to get really fine sections and in order for me to do that the easiest i'm going to put my hair into like this wonky um side ponytail it's it's gonna happen <laughs> so let's see hair section like I said if I'm looking this way my mirrors right here but I'm gonna try to get it so you guys can see it and for this you can only I think if they say like an inch of sections of hair it's pretty scary if it doesn't like go right <laughs> but so I say typically about that much and then what you do it says this side towards your head and I'm just hold on so I actually occasionally use my feet so we might have to do that I'm gonna sit that's why I'm sitting on the floor because you have to be so exact and I'm gonna put my hair into my feet and then grab the hair and see it sucks it up and then it'll beep let's see well, maybe there, here there we go and then the multiple beeps means it's done so woo pretty ringlet curl crazy I think this thing is magical all right now um, I'm just gonna go through and section it. So I use my feet again. You don't have to use your feet, but this thing is pretty, pretty finicky if you don't get it like exact. Maybe I should like go this way so you can see next time. Okay, I'll try to angle myself this way. Is it beeping? Hello? There it goes. I haven't used this in a while or done this method in a while so okay I don't know why it didn't beep that time that was weird but still curled it Eerity. let's see <laughs> maybe I'll try not to use my feet this time let's see I don't think I got it all though. Oh, and this, you might be thinking, well, how does it curl like one way? There's different methods on the, um, like the device itself. So you could put your hair in there for eight, 10 or 12 seconds. And then there's high, medium and low on the straight. I don't know if that like really did much. <laughs> So once this happens and I have an enormous amount of hair literally in my face, I'm going to take a butterfly clip and just clip it up. <laughs> You're getting all all types. Uh, I have to use my feet. Sorry. This is a hassle. Just to be able to grab it. It's best if you can get really, really close to your scalp, too. I just don't care too much. Like, I like a more of a looser curl. So, like, the tighter, the more you're up on your, like, scalp, the tighter the curl's gonna be. So, once I've gotten all this hair and the rest of my hair is still in this side ponytail, I'm just going to release some of the hair. Maybe. I have to redo it. Yep, I have to. I just wanted to say again that you're getting the raw, real, unedited me, so I occasionally mess up while doing this, and that's okay, and this is just my reality of curling my hair with one arm. We're time consuming. This is probably going to take me 30 minutes to an hour.
to be able to do. I'll let you guys know the time. The other two methods only took me about 15 minutes looking back at the footage. I'm struggling to put my hair in a ponytail today. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and face my mirror to be able to do this so I can see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to not. I'm gonna use my knees. It's better if you have longer hair because I could early, like, previously I cut my hair. I could use my knees to be able to grab the hair because it was longer. But now that it's short. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. <laughs> I essentially got halfway through um, curling that side of my head, so now I'm going to move on to the side. I will say, I forgot to mention this, if you have frizzy hair or already hair that has a natural wave, this is not good. Like, your hair almost has to be straightened to be able to curl it. I know that sounds crazy, but, like, if I would try to, my hair is naturally wavy if I just let it air dry, but I blow dried it. And if I would just let it air dry, like, I could not use this because just the way of, like, the whole grabbing it method if it's wavy or curly it just like gets tangled as a like in a knot inside of the machine which you don't want so definitely want to make sure your hair is brushed and even is blow dried and a little bit straight otherwise this thing can be a natural disaster but this is just like the product so, okay back to me hopefully you can see it better on this side it's harder for me to do because once again i work from the back to the front on this side like i did in previous so i'm gonna like Maybe I'll twist this up. Where's my clip? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So you remember how I was talking about how when you put too much hair into the curl secret it doesn't like it? Well this is an example of what happens when you put too much hair in at one time. See sometimes if you put too much, see, and then it gets stuck. <laughs> okay. Let's redo that. Uh, see this is where I stuck. You would have thought that I would have learned my lesson the first time, but no, I didn't, so I did it again. <laughs> too much, too much.
I'm also as high. <laughs> what? I'm filming a video. Go somewhere else. Oh, oh whatever. All right. So once I like finish majority for my like head of hair, I'll go back through and like try to get any misses missing pieces. Like I don't know why this was being weird. Like right here. So if I see like a really straight piece, I'll try to grab it. See why he like doesn't like it. <laughs> what if I try to comb it? Medication would help. So, yeah. So this is what my hair looks like with the curl secret. Obviously, you can see because I use smaller sections of hair, I got like tighter curls or more like ringlet style curls essentially. It actually didn't take me as long as I thought it would, but once again, I do have shorter hair. When I had longer hair, I could spend an hour doing this. Um, and obviously, it's not like perfect, but I'm not going for like a crazy curly hair. If I wanted that, I could go back through and just add more curls for the back of my head. Like I'll try to grab it, but I don't really care too much about the back of my head to be honest. So if like it's not as curly, I'm like, no, nah, it's fine. Cause like, obviously there's probably some sections that aren't curly towards the back. But if I wanted to get it more specific, I could just like take random sections of hair and then I'm able to hold it like with my feet. But once again, if the ends are a little curly, like, I'm like, great, cool, it works. Um, so yeah, that's essentially how I curl my hair with the Curl Secret. Now, this isn't, for me, this is the first way that I learned to curl my hair independently, and I was like, I have to have this, like, this totally seems one-arm friendly, but, like, now looking back at it, it's so much easier to be able to curl my hair with, like, the straightener and even the curling iron to be more time efficient. Obviously, this is going to give you the better curl, in my opinion, um... So I just, um, go with the flow. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, on to the ending of the video, wherever I film that, or whenever I film that. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and learned a lot on how I could curl my hair three different ways. I had mentioned, uh, the first time that I was curling my hair with a straightener that curling my hair was such a crucial and, like, important thing to achieve in my mind, and... It, it was something that I struggled with for so long. Like, growing up, I never was self-conscious about having one arm. Like, having one arm did not affect me in any way. But I think subconsciously, because I had, you know, an imperfection, I wanted to make up being perfect in other ways. You know, I wanted to have the same clothes as every girl at school. I wanted to look a certain way. I wanted my body to be a certain way. I wanted my hair to look a, a different way. And there's just this idea of perfect and perfection was just drilled in me. And I thought like, oh, I'll be pretty or someone will like me better if my hair looks a certain way. And my mom would curl my hair and she would put in sponge rollers because she didn't have the time in the morning to sit down and curl my hair when I was younger. And that woman is amazing. She took her time to be able to put sponge rollers in my hair before I went to bed, and so I'd wake up with curly hair. Obviously, it's not the same, you know, quote-unquote pretty curl, um, but I would... Where am I going? I feel like I'm going on a tangent, but I, I would just get so mad because my hair wouldn't look like other girls at school, and I just wish I could 
go back, I'm going to get emotional, and just hug my younger self and tell her that she is perfect and that she is beautiful the way that she is. And I know there's a girl watching this and you're struggling and you want to be able to do this. And I know you're probably doing it because you want to look a certain way. And just, I ask you if you feel that way to just try to change your mindset on this and curl your hair for yourself. And if you curl your hair and it looks wonky and it looks crazy, like, that's amazing. You curled your hair and it was beautiful. So, and you probably had a hard time doing it. So it's more worth than any other girl at school who could curl their hair a different way. Anyways, that was my big long tangent <laughs> that I wanted to add at the end. And I just hope that if you're trying this, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy, but don't give up because you'll be able to do it one day and just go in with the right mindset and you'll be able to achieve what you want to achieve. <laughs> All right. Anyway, if you guys want to know um, how I do different things with one arm, and just leave them down in the comments below and I'll make another video.